Hello, lamp fans. Okay, so everybody wants to know how to polish lamps and how to clean them up. So I just thought I'd share some techniques that I use to get lamps nice looking again. Now, I would never attempt to do this to a really nice original lamp that had great, you know, patina to it. But any lamps that I see that are, you know, really just not that attractive, like it's been... You know, it's got that type of finish. It might have had a, a clear lacquer on there at one point and it got partially polished off. And it's got some oxidization in spots. And another thing you want to clean is the inside. This one is extremely clean. I just about never, ever, let's see if I get a picture of that. I don't know if I'll be able to get that. I just about never get them perfectly clean uh, to start with. So there's a few things that I that I buy that really make a big difference. So one thing you need is paint stripper. This is this you got to have this to get rid of any clear lacquer. It's also excellent for cleaning out the junk inside. I've tried oven cleaner, but you don't know how long to leave it in. This stuff uh, I buy this by the gallon. Uh, get it at my local hardware store. It's designed for wood, but it works on pretty much anything. I, I'll pour a cup or so in there, swish it around and wait, and it'll get rid of all the junk in there and cut, get it right down to metal. Another thing that I use is Barkeeper's Friend. So this is in the stripping process to get the brass ready. And then the final polish, it, I, this is the Blue Magic Polish. It's really an aluminum and mag wheel polish, but it works excellent on brass. Um, I think it's more like an aircraft company type thing for like aluminum. Uh, it works really well on aluminum as well, too, and you, it's expensive if you buy it by the small portion, but you buy this half gallon size here, it's about $60, I guess, and it's way cheaper, and this is a couple years old, and I'm not even halfway through. Uh, other things you're going to need are paper towels, and I use the blue heavy-duty towels, and then for the final buff, I'm going to go to a microfiber, a microfiber rag. So the first thing I do is I determine, you know, is there any lacquer on this? I think there is. So what I'll do is I just have some, some paint stripper here. I'll just wipe some on and just let it do, let it do its thing, sort of speak. And uh, I'll wipe it off. Now this stuff is, you should be using gloves and definitely eye protection. Like I just splashed a little bit on my arm and I can just feel it. Yikes. This stuff works awesome. So yeah, you can put paper down so you don't ruin your workbench too. That's another good thing, another good idea. You can tell I do this professionally. Uh, kidding. Anyway, I'm just going to apply some, some of this just to make sure there's no lacquer on it. Uh, because, I mean, you don't have to strip the lacquer, but if you don't, then the next process is much harder. You have to polish it through. I've seen people use, you know, all sorts of metal polish to polish it off. That's the hard way. This is the easy way. Uh, so I'm just applying a layer to this entire lamp. And it doesn't take long. It'll take care of any lacquer. Oh, probably in about a minute, it'll start coming off. Yeah, you definitely should be using gloves. Uh, I ran out. I'm cheap. I'm Scottish. I didn't buy any more. Too bad it's set. I'll wipe it off. So anyway, so right now it's on. Now you got to take it off. So the paper towel is your best bet. Just give it a quick wipe with the paper towel. And you know, you'll go through some, like big deal. It's cheap. So I buy it by the multi-pack, of course. And uh, just keep wiping off all the, all the residue. Turn it on its side, wipe it on its side. And then you pretty much get it all off like that so now i know there's definitely no lacquer so sometimes they put a lacquer on from the factory and uh, you know this is this lamp is 1915 so it's 105 years old guaranteed and so who knows 
where the lacquer, if it had a lacquer or not. Anyway, so that's really it. So at that point, you can really move on to the next step. So Barkeeper's Friend, it's got a slight pumice to it. It's, it's going to do your scrubbing for you. It's also got like a, uh, a chemical in there that really helps, um, really helps clean it. And it really makes the polishing step even easier. So this sort of, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. It's an antioxidizer. I don't know. I'm not a chemical guy. I don't, I just know that this stuff works brilliant when it comes to cleaning and stripping, stripping the, the junk off there. So you'll see that you'll have these little, you know, oxidization spots. So those you'll have to go over a little harder with this and it will disappear in front of your eyes. You'll just keep going over it. You don't have to get it perfect with this. You want to get it about, I would say 90%. Uh, most of those little marks are gone. And there's some more coming up here. So that's, you just got to keep rubbing it. I use the paper towel in this and it holds the pumice in place and you don't really have to change the paper towel that that much but you you got to spend a little extra time especially where, where the chine people call it chine i was corrected by somebody else called it a chine another lamp collector chime is supposed to deflect water told me a chime is a something completely different but anyway it's starting to look respectable I'm not going to do the entire lamp right in front of it because this will probably take about half an hour and I'd like to keep my video short and sweet uh, you know, just to get it enough, just to get you excited about lamps, lamp collecting and cleaning them and trying to get them back. Like this one here, this is that beacon lamp I showed a couple weeks ago. This is all original. It's original to everything. Uh, this I'm just going to lightly clean. I'm going to leave the wick in and lightly clean the burner too because it's got some, some sort of a, looks like a paper bag, a plastic bag or something melted onto it. So I'll get that clean paint stripper will take care of that whatever that stuff is but anyway so you see that this is cleaned up quite a bit so now I want to get rid of get rid of the uh, still a little bit more work I can do on the top here I'm just gonna spend a little bit more time up here around the circles where the burner screws in in the top of the chime chime but anyway you get the idea so it's pretty close to clean so i just grab a, a really dirty old rag one that i've used a lot and just wipe off that extra pumice so i'm not polishing that in so that's pretty much ready for the next step which is the the blue magic polish so i just wipe some on by hand got to be careful around certain areas you don't want to get it into threads and stuff because it's harder to get out but I just kind of wipe it on just like that get a nice thin coating everywhere and then at that point we're ready for the the blue towels uh, I don't remember the name of these but you get there what, what these are you, you get these pretty much everywhere these there you go Scott shop original Yes, Scott Company, you can send me a case of those. I love them. Great product. Now I'm going for literally the final polish. And if you get the areas around the cap here, I use Q-tips in there. Uh, that's where you're going to spend most of your time. It's going to be around the nooks and crannies and such. So at this point, it's starting to get a nice sheen to it. And you see how it's kind of turning dark, oxidized. That's fine. You want that to happen in the process. It's uh, 
it's still cleaning it. We'll go around the outside. I don't, uh, I have a, a wheel polisher in the garage. I don't use it for this type of thing because if it spins out of my hand and I'll dent it, then I basically destroyed the lamp or really seriously affected the quality of this lamp. This lamp is perfect. It's got one teeny little dent right there that you couldn't really tell. But anyway, this is about a half an hour to do this by hand to get it to perfect. But as you see, it's starting to go dark, which is nice. I'm gonna go around the chime here one more time. Then at that point, you know, you get all the black stuff there, the oxidization. Then I go for these microfiber towels. I buy these by the bundle and I wash them several times. Eventually I throw them out. Then I just go to this as the final buff. And uh, you'll see it really gives it a nice luster. And it really makes it look factory fresh. Now, at this point, once I've done the entire lamp, and if it's a lamp that I use a lot or I want to display, I might put a lacquer coat on it. So I, at that point, I usually typically would clean the lamp with, uh, you can use, um, I guess, lacquer thinner. Uh, I clean it with uh, brake cleaner because it just evaporates. And then I just take it outside and hit it with some, clear lacquer and that preserves the finish you don't have to polish it again and you can see the type of polish you get in a very short period of time now this lamp was in very good shape albeit um, but um, you know the, the 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 more oxidized the more time it takes but the things that really cut down on the steps are making sure it's stripped going for this um, barkeepers friend they make other products but this stuff here is really the best. And then, I mean, I've used every polish out there in the universe in over the last 30 years on stuff, but this Blue Magic stuff is the best and uh, definitely not sponsored by those guys, but uh, really like their product. Anyway, that's my video today and uh, hope you like how it turned out. Have yourselves a great day.